Hi, Joe Bustillos here with tonight's final thought. So I did take a little bit of time off, um, just a very busy schedule at work, and decided that um, I needed to take a little bit of a gap, a little bit of a break. And then also you notice I did make some changes. I was really frustrated with the audio levels of the previous recordings. And as much as I enjoyed the idea of, you know, just going ahead and, and doing um, recording using just the iPad, and, and I'm sure that I'll probably, uh, there'll be times when I will use the iPad to do the recording. I, you know, I have a very nice microphone here and um, there's no reason for me not to use it for these recordings. Makes sense. And then also I was looking at other, um, other video podcasts out there and many of them were very stylized and did a lot of jump cuts and other sorts of things. And here I was struggling with trying to get the whole thing done, you know, in one shot. And, and I think, well, that's kind of silly. So I will probably go ahead and use some editing here and there for when I screw up, because that happens quite a bit. Um, already happened many times tonight. Hope you don't notice. Anyway, so um, tonight's um, topic is um, uh, technology. And, and it, my, my thought was, you know, technology, it's not, it's a marriage, not a friendship. And what brought this to mind was uh, a visit to my local Costco where I saw one of these guys. This is a Nabi 2 tablet and uh, you know it was being you know sold uh, by at Costco relatively inexpensively. Um, oh I knocked the price out of the of the image. I think it was around $200 maybe a little bit less and it, it reminded me of uh, a couple years ago I went to a conference um, ISTE conference up in Philadelphia and uh, in the showroom where they you know they the vendors were I saw all these no-name tablets being sold you know to school districts and schools and you know educators and it 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 was an interesting thing for me having been involved in technology for as many years as I've been involved in technology and in the classroom etc cetera, etc cetera. Well, number one, a lot of people come into technology and, they, and they're looking for the, the best bang for the buck. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but from my experience, going all the way back to the 80s and my early first computers, uh, the tendency to go too cheap almost always resulted in spending more money to get the things done that you originally intended to do with the technology that you're buying. So if you cut it too low, then you're going to end up spending more money to get that thing done because you know you get you go cheap and you get cheap, and uh, and so that was the first thought that that came to mind when I uh, looked at this this um, this tablet because I could just imagine a family you know seeing this being uh, you know displayed at Costco and go oh god you know this is so much cheaper than an iPad um, let's you know let's get it and um, my you know my first thought is okay so once you buy the device it's not just the device it's always what either comes with the device or in the case of these you know a lot of these technologies it's the um, it's the ecosystem but the but the idea is is that you buy the device so that um, especially these you know the, the tablets type devices is it's, it's never about just the tablet if you just go with the spec sheet of the of the tablet it's it's not that it's always what can you accomplish with the with the device and does it do what you want it to do because you've got the available software except you know it's a growing ecosystem is what they you know it's you know i guess maybe it's one of the um one of the uh, sound bites that's always being used with these things but it did concern me because i could just easily see you know uh, um i could easily see a family going and and or you know somebody going and buying one of these things and then taking it home and the, you know number one it isn't what the they wanted and so there's that, there's that and that's never fun and then the other the other part is then okay let's go out and see what we can get to do with this thing and a lot of them so I did a little bit of research to try and figure out uh, what would run on this device and um, you know started here with uh, you know I did did the whole Google search and found an article by Tech Advisor talking about you know their experiences with the device and I was happy to find out that it does run run Android because like I said when I saw these devices a couple years ago you know these were just 
you know, they were taking the idea of the tablets that were, uh, you know, in resurgence following the introduction um, of the iPad back in 2010 and, you know, using, you know, putting together these devices, but not necessarily thinking about how they worked with other stuff or even how the software itself worked, et cetera, et cetera. And so, you know, I could easily imagine somebody buying one of these devices, getting it at a knockoff price and then realizing that there's nothing that would run on it. And it's, you know, a, a crappy operating system. So I was happy to find out that this does run um, Android. So at least it has that going for it. Um, and, you know, I'll, I'll put a link uh, to this particular review. And, you know, the, as far as, as uh, Android tablets, it seems like it's a, it's a, a pretty decent Android tablet. And uh, there's a couple uh, videos out there where, you know, they talk about the review. And it does seem to be pretty robust. And it was, you know, it's a kid designed or a, a device designed primarily for kids. And uh, uh, this particular reviewer, you know, kind of in, in, enjoyed it. Um, but it is one of those sorts of things. It's kind of funny as uh, many of the tablets, in, including some that were just recently announced, are you know getting thinner and thinner and thinner. This you know this one's kind of claim to fame was that it's big and bulky and can handle you know uh, a little bit of rough stuff. You can again, it works on Google Play, which is also an, a recent update. It originally, when first introduced, didn't have that option. So you would have to buy stuff in the Nabby store, and it tended to not be inexpensive. You're not just a, buying the one single thing, you're buying the whole ecosystem. So it's got to be not only the, the hardware, but the, the, the user interface that works with it. How simple is it? And, um, and then can you get the, the kinds of games and things that you want, uh, your, your, you know, that your kids are going to be wanting to use on, on that particular device. So that's my rambling thought of the night. Um, I may edit some bits out because I can do that. On a completely different note, um, I went to my local um, comic book store and, you know, recently I had talked about my action figures and my poor G.I. Joe. And I did seem to find another G.I. Joe here and it was relatively inexpensive, under, under 20 bucks. And uh, so my question is now, is this guy is still in the box with the seal on it and I'm, I'm questioning well, actually, it's kind of it's it's broken now, but uh, I'm kind of questioning whether I want to take it out of the box or not. Previously, you know, I'm notorious. I, I think that you know the toys should be taken out of the box and shared because I'm not, you know, I'm not buying it to, you know, I'm not buying it for a collection to make money. I mean, it's it's I'm I'm buying it because I think these are cool, and uh, and this guy's got a gun and he's got he's even got a helmet, so. Um, so I'm, but I'm still kind of wondering whether or not I should really totally fully take them out of the box or not. So that's kind of the question that I'm dealing with is, uh, you know, technology and then, you know, collectible toys. So that's my rambling uh, thought for the night. And I hope that you guys uh, have a good week and I will see you next time and have a good one. Bye.